one of the biggest Halo mods ever just got bigger. And in this video, I'm going to showcase you why you need to figure out how to play this game. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you a different kind of video today. We're doing a mod showcase video. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure to tap subscribe on the channel here, guys. Let's get right into the content here. So the largest mod probably ever has just been updated. Yes, right, guys. This mod is called SPV3. You might have been seeing a few videos going around on YouTube recently about this mod. And let me tell you guys, it's such a unique experience that it's really something you have to play to truly understand and appreciate. But in this video, I'm going to showcase you everything you need to know about this mod, everything that it offers, and why you really need to play it. So what is SPV3? Well, it's a Halo C campaign mod to put it in short, but that completely understates what it actually does to the game. This mod completely overhauls the visuals of CE, updating all the textures, all the lighting, and actually creating new areas as well. This mod also brings in a new faction of enemies, the Brutes, into the game as well. Brand new weapons that are seriously a must play to truly understand the quantity that there are in there. If I had to label every single new weapon that's in this mod, but guys, You'd be here for a lot, of, like at least an hour, probably me detailing everything. But they put in like a grenade launcher in the CE. We have the, the Brute Plaza rifle. We have like a Brute Needler, which is kind of really cool as well. Uh, they have a Mangler type weapon as well, which is like a single shot Brute weapon that's supposed to mimic the Mangler that we had in Halo Infinite. And a completely different Magnum that helps balance out the game a little better so then more weapons are better suited for the game. Because honestly, the Magnum in CE, not only is it crazy overpowered in multiplayer, it's crazy overpowered in single player as well to where it completely outclasses all weapons so it also balances out the weapon sandbox a little bit better and expands on top of it as well and each campaign mission has been completely redone as well with added in new sections within each level as well which really extends out the gameplay so if you like combat evolved and want more of it that's exactly what this mod does it honestly takes me like an hour per level now to play through each thing instead of like 20 to 30 ish minutes or so for the standard ce game play so it really extends out the gameplay they give you some more unique situations and they're not just like the same thing but more but they add a new twist new elements and new sections that make it a completely different experience. So why am I making this video again, right? I made the same video back in 2019 talking about SPV3 when that launched out and talking about all the basics that I'm talking about right now. That's because SPV3 just got a 0.3 update. Yes, SPV3.3 update. This update brings a lot of new additions into the game. So we have a, actually a list of 10 things that Masters, the creator of this mod, actually went into previously. I'm gonna outline these for you guys to kind of let you know what we're talking about here. So number 10, they added in post-processing vision as an ambient occlusion, depth of field, HDR, and a lot more right there. Now we have ray tracing enabled on some cards if your card can handle it. Updated lighting, a lot of bug fixes. We have some new weapons like the incineration cannon, a mangular type weapon like I mentioned previously, a chain gun added into this game, sentinel bolt, sentinel suppressor, sentinel rail gun, spartan laser, and a golden gun just like from GoldenEye 64, that's in the game as well. Updated vehicles and health system with a new anti-personal wraith, as well as some new vehicles from like Halo Reach 4 and 5 and added in there on top of that. A uh, new cool addition that they added in are skulls. Skulls are now added into this game. Now they're not just your typical skulls copy and pasted over from Halo into here. They have completely unique skulls that really help change up the gameplay a lot. For example, there are some new ones like Speed Demon. The game's speed is increased, making all things sped up. There's Unity, where Covenant, Flood, and Sentinels will unite against you. And there's Reaper, unlimited grenades, but you can only throw them when your shield is full. Throwing a grenade depletes your shields. And there's so many more right here. Like I think there's 15 in total, so there's so many unique different aspects you can play around with with these skulls on. And there's actually a completely different difficulty on this game as well. For difficulties, you have normal. They've gotten completely rid of easy. So there's normal, heroic, legendary, and noble. Yes, there's a difficulty that's harder than legendary on here. So if you really want to test yourself in this game, 
isn't easy actually like i've been playing the whole thing on normal and it feels like heroic if you really love this game and really want to test your skills campaign gameplay well this mod might be the ultimate test for you so to truly show off what this game has to offer i feel like i really need to go into the game to showcase you guys what we're talking about actually there is also another thing I want to mention, that there is a completely unique soundtrack. It's all like a redone version of CE soundtrack, uh, bumped up, amplified, and just really filled out to where, it honestly, like, kind of plays better than the original soundtrack. I know that sounds heretical, but seriously, it does. So we jump into SPV3 here. One of the cool things they added in here is firefight in this game. Now, this firefight mode is just single player only, so you won't be able to team up online with anybody. We have two levels of Rockside, which is from from CE where you save some of the Marines from the mission Halo and engine room. Once you click on a map, you can choose if you want Spartan versus Covenant, Spartan versus Flood, or coming soon, they say Covenant versus Flood. Uh, they have different modes with this as well, with Survival, which only has three lives. You have Guardian, which is gonna be well, coming soon, actually. Squad Survival, which is actually my favorite thing that they added into here. Watch survival is really cool because you spawn in with a series of different ODSTs and stuff like that. After you survive 10 rounds, you go into wave number two, which will add in a hero character that'll play along with you. When I played, I had Master Chief actually jump in and play along with me. You can have Captain Keys, who actually has the golden gun, which is pretty cool. I believe you can have Sergeant Johnson as well as, as one of the other characters from Project Lemoria, which we'll go into later. Brandon also helps you out. And there also is Juggernaut mode, which basically you have no lives, but all your unlocks are available. Yes, yeah, so you have different ability unlocks you can do while playing this game. Uh, one thing when I was playing, I had the nuke unlock, which was just hilarious, where every time I died, I would just blow up in a nuke nuclear explosion and just wipe off like half the map. That's really cool. Very well done. No! We gotta blow up. Yes! <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. Oh, that was great. Oh, I couldn't ask for anything better than that. Uh, kind of overpowered, kind of ridiculous, but also pretty fun. They have different things like camo, they also have uh, like overshield and various other kind of power-ups you can pick up as you upgrade throughout the game. And they just stay with your character as well because obviously the rounds get more intensive the further you go in. Now when it comes to customization, this is all new to the game and this is what really makes this kind of a really fun kind of mod. You might have been seeing some thumbnails about this uh, customization and you'll certainly like it. So you can choose what Master Chief you want to play as. You can play as the SPV3 version of Master Chief original combat evolved version kind of like an updated combat evolved version a different combat evolved version right there and also you can play as brandon from the project lemoria campaign which is also a brand new campaign added into here as well uh, you also can just randomize it if you want you can choose Cort your cortana model you can do the spv version pink combat evolved version the spv2 version as well as window 10 cortana yes you can have the little speaky circle talking to you the whole time, which I like selecting that one just because it's pretty fun right here. You can actually choose the time of day on a couple missions as well for uh, some missions, which is pretty cool. And of course, the biggest addition here, Craig. Yes, you can play as Craig in this game with a gigantic Craig head on top of your Spartan. Uh, this is just awesome, guys. Like, of course, you gotta play with Craig. This also works with the Project Lemoria campaign as well. Now you heard me talking about Project Lemoria a bunch, right? Well, it's because there are two complete sets of campaigns in this game. You have the original Installation 04 campaign, which has completely new missions on top of that as well. But I've been talking about Project Lemoria, so let's go into that a little bit. This is a fan-created campaign mod that was created about 2010 to 2012, somewhere around there. And it's been updated with this updated SPV graphics for this mod as well. And this is a completely fan created campaign. Now, the voice acting can be inconsistent at times, uh, but there's so many unique gameplay elements. It's actually a really fun story, a really fun gameplay elements that you guys definitely need to check out. This is one of my favorite parts about this mod. You just absolutely need to jump in and play. Now, this isn't just CE's campaign added in here. You can tell that they actually added in some new stuff for here. Like I mentioned earlier, they have new sections for a lot of these classic levels right here, but they also have completely redone missions like Silent Cartographer Evolved. This just kind of like a more elaborated version of Combat Evolves Silent Cartographer mission, and it just like completely turns it on its head. You still hit the same points that you do within the game, 
but it's completely redone to a, almost a way more interesting than the original. Like I can't praise this enough. Like it feels like a completely new campaign mission, yet completely familiar at the same time. And this campaign is divided up into two parts. You have the landfall missions and you have the outbreak missions, obviously with the flood. You have your typical missions that you do, which again, are all completely remastered, but then you also have, but you also have three completely different missions here. So you have no one left behind where you jump in and try to save in some Marines. This is a completely new mission, like completely, when I say completely new, like it's brand new mission that only can be found in SPV3. You have the commander mission, which you actually get a chance to play as the Arbiter. Yes, Stel Vadim, you get to play as him along with Artes Vadim and a created character within this as well. Because if you guys remember within the lore of CE that actually Bel Vadam, the Arbiter, was on the CE's Installation 04 ring. So it takes the level of Silent Cartographer and completely flips it on its head, playing as the Arbiter against the Flood. I've put a considerable amount of time into this. I put two streams of playing SPV 3.3 together just for you guys to check out if you wanted to. Again, my Twitch link in the description down below. From my experience that it's a ton of fun. Like this is, it's not just like retreading over Combat Evolved. Like this is like a completely new take on the game yet so familiar at the same time where it still feels like Halo, but it also has a completely new experience, which is just so hard to ride that fine line. And they do a great job of it in SPV 3.3. I did try cranking the settings up all the way on my computer, and it does seem to be a bit chunky on some of the frame rate, which can be understandable since they're working with such an old engine and it's a mod, so you gotta give them a little bit of a pass when it comes to performance on here, but they do a great job at the best they can. So if you have a really high-end PC, probably maintain some solid frame rates. I had to tone down some of the settings like ray tracing and some shadowing and stuff like that, just to kind of make sure I had a solid frame rate. But once I toned in those settings, it was running perfectly fine for me. Now, what you need to be able to download this game is that you need a legitimate version of Halo. That could be actually from the MCC. You can also have Halo Custom Edition. That one works as well. I'm assuming most of you watching this channel probably have it on the Halo CE on the MCC. So all you need to do is just install this mod into the same folder on PC that you have Halo Combat Evolved installed on and it starts working right away. It will not affect your combat evolved in any way or form. This is just like an additional add-on. It just needs to be able to recognize that you have a legitimate version of CE on your folder. And yeah, that's SPV3. It's freaking amazing. I guarantee you guys, you absolutely need to get a chance to go jump in and download and play this game. You can probably see a lot of other content creators making videos on this as well if you want to learn more about it or see some more gameplay or have some have their own point of view take on it as well. Uh, from my experience, it's amazing. It's a must play if you're a huge CE fan like myself. So if you guys like this video, so make sure to tap that like button. Let's be know you want to see some more content like this. Check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and information on videos you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.